Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Meyer Homestyle Hoagie. This is the meatloaf. Um, it says it is, turn to get the light on it, one slice of meatloaf topped with ketchup glaze on a sesame seed hoagie roll. Looks really good. These were um, at Meyer for $1.99, so not too off the bad. It is 510 calories for the sandwich though. There's your other information. Another picture. So remove from freezer. Open one end of the wrapper, place on microwave safe plate, paper plate. Microwave at 30% power for two minutes and then at full power for 90 seconds. So that's a little bit of a pain, but that's okay. And we leave it in the microwave for one minute afterwards. So. Here's what it looks like. Pretty good size sandwich, honestly. Pretty good size slice of meat folks too. So uh, I'm gonna open this up and get in the microwave and I'll be back when it's ready. Okay, right, here it is out of the microwave. Uh, the bread is pretty soft. There's a little, little tough spots here and there on the edges, but not too bad. There's the meatloaf itself. It smells really good, I do have to say. I don't see any glaze in there unless it's underneath. Maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, I don't see. I was expecting, I mean, there's, I guess that's it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna let it cool off. I'll probably, well, I'll eat it just like it is. But anyway, I have to let it cool off because it's really hot, but I'll be right back. Hey, I think it's had time to cool off enough for me to eat it. <laughs> we shall see. Um, the bottom's still a little hot, but we'll see. That's what the inside looks like. Um, it's not bad. It's not awesome. The meatloaf really doesn't taste like meatloaf, like I'm used to eating meatloaf, um, like like a homemade meatloaf sliced up. It doesn't really have an onion or anything like that in it. It really just tastes like um, like they've taken their Salisbury steak and and put this tomato sauce on it, and that's it. it. Really doesn't even have a tomato sauce flavor. Like I said, I really didn't see any on there unless that was it on the top. Um, I think that's more. I mean, that could be it. I don't know. Whatever it, it needed a lot more of it if it didn't have it on there. Let's put it that way. Um, this one's just okay. I'm gonna give it a three. It's not a horrible sandwich. It's just not It's not really super flavorful either. It's kind of blah um, If you added some salt pepper, maybe your own ketchup to the top of it, it might be really good But it's already 600 and some calories, so I can't imagine adding any more calories to it um, But it does need some flavor pickup. Um, I think salt and pepper would even just help nature seasoning something anything um, But it's pretty bland. So anyway it's edible. It's definitely um, not horrible. It's definitely fill you up because it's a big sandwich. Um, but yeah, it's just flavor-wise are kind of lacking for me. So three it is for me, and I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.